A low frequency radio channel is at the center of letters between State Representative Wendell Gilliard and the city of Charleston. Now, Gilliard wrote that letter to Mayor John Tecklenburg after he visited the Lanxis plant after the most recent incident there. It was a phosphorus leak. He claims the channel may have helped inform employees about a chlorine leak that happened back in May. The letter goes on to say the Rosemont community wants to help reestablish using that low frequency radio channel. But the city of Charleston says that when Lanxis asked them about that channel in 2018, both the city and county said they can't support it. A statement sent to News 2 by the city spokesperson goes on to say that it could not support the continued use of this outdated warning system when newer, more effective technologies such as Everbridge and Reverse 911 are available and provide a higher level of protection for our citizens. We look forward to working with Representative Gilliard, the county and area residents to ensure that Lanxis has the best available tools to provide critical information to our citizens in any emergency situation.